I'm so out of my element. I'm slightly shook, but Jesus is with me. We're gonna make it, y'all. So I think I'm lost. I don't know, I don't know. I might have to pee in the woods. The best exercise to lose belly fat. This exercise is incredibly underrated and extremely powerful in helping you lose even the most stubborn belly fat. In fact, a study published in the Journal of Exercise, Nutrition and Biochemistry found that people who did this exercise for a period of 12 weeks lost a significant amount of visceral fat, aka belly fat, compared to a sedentary control group. Now, can you guess what it is? Is it running, cycling, maybe abs exercises? Nope, all wrong. It's simply walking. Good morning, goodies. Nastasia here, also known as Keto Jamaican Girl. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're starting out our day on a nice little hike. We are on Crowder's Mountain. I've done a couple hikes before, but never by myself. So this is an adventure for me. This is my first time hiking by myself. I'm excited to see how this goes. <laughs> so let's go. I'm gonna do the two hour one two hour round trip. I think we can handle that by ourselves. Three hours is a bit ambitious. So we'll go this way. So I was going to um, listen to music while I walk the route, but I feel like I'm hearing random sounds because I'm walking by myself. So we're gonna take these headphones off and listen to nature. <laughs> I don't know what much I could do if I did hear anything coming. Let me show you what's around me. This is the trail I'm taking. So I'm gonna just set a pace and listen to nature or put my headphones around my neck and turn it up just for a little motivation. I feel in my chest that I'm going higher because my breathing is feeling a little more labored. But we gonna do this, we gonna do this. So I think I'm lost. I see these, these red and blue signs, right? And it's leading me to an all dirt road. I'm gonna show you the dirt road. So am I supposed to take this dirt road up the mountain? I don't know what I'm doing at this point. I don't see any more red and... Oh, maybe I should just continue going straight. Oh, because I was getting tripped up by this and that, but I think I'm supposed to just continue going straight here over the dirt road through here. So I go right or left? I'm going to go left. It's taking me to campgrounds when I'm trying to go to the top of the mountain. I don't know what that's about either. Oh, boy. Now I'm at another crossroads where I see FC, which I guess stands for Family Campground. And then I see this road, and I know I'm not trying to go to the campgrounds. I'm trying to get to the top of the mountain. So I'm going to go right. Oh. I'm so out of my element. I'm slightly shook. But Jesus is with me. And we're going to make it, y'all. Alright, so I'm actually going to turn back because I think I took a wrong turn. I'm trying to make it to the top of the mountain and I made my way to the campgrounds. So I'm gonna turn back. I don't know if we're gonna make it to the top of the mountain today, but I feel like I'm going the wrong way. So I'm gonna turn back. Everything is wet, seemed like it rained last night. So, so ooh, my watch is talking to me. <laughs> so everything's a little slippery. I could have had a faster pace too, but I'm so scared. I'm walking all slow and careful. Definitely could have had a faster mile than that. But yeah, we're gonna turn back. I guess the signs were here all along because this says campground, no access to summit. So that means I was making my way away from the top of the mountain this whole time. So I just wasted about 20 minutes. But so far we've done 33 minutes, um, 1.30 miles. I'm going to walk until I see a sign that leads me to summit. Reading is fundamental. I have a bachelor's and a master's and I missed all the signs. I misinterpreted all the signs. Lesson learned. 
So now we'll be looking for access to summit signs. Let's go. So this is where I went the wrong way. Here it says Pinnacle Summit 1.5 miles and I went to the right instead of to the left. Again, reading is fundamental. I guess I was nervous about coming off of the trail. So I went up there instead of making a sharp left. So now we know for next time we make a sharp left. So my current problem is I think I need to pee and I, we don't do sudden movements and loud sounds. We don't know what it could be. But yeah, I think I may need to pee, but this is telling me I have one and a half miles to the summit. And I don't know, I don't want to fail at my first attempt. So I'm gonna try to make it to the summit still. I'm not really tired. I did 39 minutes. Um, I think it'll take me about 30 more minutes to do the mile and a half to the top. And I really want to do it. So I'm gonna continue on. Let's see what happens. I don't know, I don't know. I might have to be in the woods. <laughs> Okay, we have one more mile left to get to the summit, and this is the way to go. We're still making good time. Let's go. I think I'm at my last stretch to the summit. Just need to climb up this, and then we're there. did 5.43 miles and we did it in two and a half hours so i'm going to use the restroom and then we can go and have our first meal of the day that hike really wore me out and i'm in no mood to cook this morning so we're having some keto cereal i bought this at whole foods of course i'm having it with a nut milk and i sweetened it a bit with some stevia and also some skinny syrup because i wanted to get that saturday morning cereal feel and it was so good For lunch, we're having leftovers. If you watch my last video, I made this burger for dinner and I had a second a burger that I did not eat. So that is what we're having for lunch today. And I basically did the same exact things that you see here. Same toppings, same um, buns. Um, I believe it was the Arnold bombs. I, I got those at Walmart and it was so good, so delicious and I didn't have to cook, so yay. I have rested and regained my strength, so I'm ready to get in the kitchen and make a delicious eggplant dinner. I'm going to soak these eggplant pieces in a salt water bath to get rid of some bitterness so that when I add my other flavors, it'll be absolutely delicious. <laughs> I'm gonna need you guys to pray for me. There's nothing wrong with me. It's just that I don't understand why I keep making these weird decisions. Like, why was I trying to put the square plate into the, the circular bowl? Like, why was I doing that? And then why did I get a plate this big to then try to push the eggplant down in the bowl? And then I finally got it right. I got something that was slightly smaller in circumference to push the eggplant down in the water because it was floating. So now <laughs> we're gonna let the eggplants dry on a piece of paper towel just to get rid of the excess moisture. And then we're going to go on to season it and it's going to be so, so good. Before we add the seasoning to the eggplant, I'm going to go ahead and make some lines in the tops and the bottom portions of the eggplant so that the seasoning can get into the center of the eggplant. It seems tedious, but it's worth it because it gets the flavor all the way through. And yeah, you'll see at the end. Me, me, 
So we're gonna start our seasoning with some all-purpose seasoning. I use the Badia Complete. You can use whichever you prefer. And then to that, I'm going to add this mushroom seasoning that I got from Trader Joe's. It is so good. I literally put it on everything. You definitely need to give it a try if you have a Trader Joe's near you. And of course, we're going to add some jerk seasoning. I prefer hot and spicy. If you're not used to the flavor of jerk seasoning, you should definitely use less and do not use the hot and spicy. Get the mild so that you can get accustomed to the flavor. I'm going to add some liquid smoke here just to add a smoky flavor to our jerk uh, eggplant and I'm going to add some oil just to help this marinate into the pieces so now I'm just rubbing this into the crevices of those lines that we made and now I can add my pieces to the air fryer I, I opted to use my smaller air fryer because I'm obsessed with it I'm gonna link it below because I'm so happy with this purchase so while it's air frying of course I said I was gonna add some low carb sides so here we have some uh, cauliflower rice of course and I'm going to add some avocado because we want to get our healthy fats in there we did add some olive oil but we want to add healthy fats wherever we can to keep ourselves full and here is how they came out do you see how that you know the jerk seasoning is all the way in right down to the center ah, so good so so good <laughs> If you decide to give this this a try, definitely don't leave out the avocado because I feel like the bites that I took with the avocado and the eggplant made all the difference. Like the combination of those flavors is so delicious. The jerk seasoning of course stands alone. It is a superstar. But paired with the avocado and of course the cauliflower rice, this dinner was so enjoyable. And I, you guys know I don't put on for you. I don't tell you something that isn't true. I'll tell you a joke but I'll never tell you a lie. This was really good and you should definitely give it a try. If you stuck with me to the end of this video, please go ahead and drop these emojis in the comment section to let me know that you're here and you're still supporting. For those of you who have not subscribed, please go ahead and do that. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button because it really helps my channel and I really appreciate you all for being here. Thanks again and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!